Texas leading a group of seven states that have sued to overturn DACA. State Attorney General Ken Paxton arguing former President Obama lacked the authority to enact DACA by executive order. I'm joined now by Mike Gonzalez, senior fellow at the Heritage Foundation. The states, Mike, have tried to sue before, and I do think that this gets back to because Congress has not acted, these states are looking for some sort of certainty, a determination, some sort of relief from the courts. Do you think that this time they'll be more successful? Yeah, I don't think many people dispute that President Obama lacked the authority to do what he did. In fact, we know that from President Obama, who said himself he could not do it, and then he did it. Uh, so I, uh, I really do not understand why uh, Congress, the Democrats in Congress, uh, never took up uh, what were really generous terms mm. by the White House, uh, and, and they just let it go, and I, I don't think it's possible now. Well, do you th well I, I guess the, then the question will be if the if the administration will be able to push Congress to get it done. You know, Paul Ryan has said um, that they're going to try to do it, but in this environment with the midterm elections coming up, do you think that's possible? I, I really don't think so, and it would require for the, the minority party, the Democrats, uh, to play ball. And for some reason, as I said, you know, the, the White House said they were going to uh, legalize close to 2 million uh, of, of people with this designation. Which was, I mean, nobody thought it was going to be that big, and the mm -hmm. Democrats just didn't do it for some reason. And mm -hmm. uh, you know, the head of LULAC, by the way, the, the oldest Mexican American organization in the country, uh, wrote to President Trump and said, "I think this is a good idea. I think we should look into it." And he was really mm -hmm. pounded for this. Yeah. So this is very political. Let me then turn to the other issue, which is this is all happening while this migrant crisis is um, being shown at the border every day, all of these images. And I asked Condoleezza Rice yesterday about what about the possibility of the United States doing more to help these Central American countries at their source so that people don't want to flee the countries. Here's what she said. Those problems are now south of the Mexican border in places like Guatemala and in Central America where gang violence and yeah. drug warfare is so extreme that people are going to try to get out. And so if you can go to the source, if you can work Help with them. those countries uh, through intelligence, through policing, uh, you training. will, training, uh, you could try and solve the problem at the source. Do you think that is a possibility then going forward? You know, I feel like the president's on this foreign policy role, um, with putting the, the United States in that sort of a different leadership position than it has been in the, in the most recent past. And so you have this problem that the, migrant, the, the migrants coming across are a problem, but how do you actually stop it from happening again next year and the years after that? Yeah, Se Secretary Rice has a very good point. Uh, the, the majority of the, I guess it's like 200 uh, uh, of these uh, people uh, seeking asylum uh, they're from Honduras. Honduras is really crime, a crime-ridden country. Obviously, uh, anything we can do to make Honduras a, most, a more livable place, help, help the Honduran government do that, would be, would be good. But the problem here is that there's two things, uh, Dana. One is there's a, there's a group called Pueblos Sin Fronteras who have been pushing these, these, these asylum seekers along. Mm -hmm. no, no, nobody, nobody knows anything about them. If you go to their website, it's impossible to see who funds them. Right. And the second thing is, um, it, it's going to be very hard. Uh, they have very horrible stories, but it's going to be very hard for them to, to win asylum uh, cases because asylum, to, to, be an, uh, uh, to, 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 to successfully claim asylum, you have to demonstrate a fear of persecution for being, uh, for religious reasons, mm -hmm. or for political reasons, of being a member of a group, for being uh, a member of a nationality. And it's gonna be impossible uh, for these people to demonstrate that. So these things, these cases are gonna have to be adjudicated at the border very, mm -hmm. very quickly. And those found not to, uh, not to have grounds for asylum, uh, they're gonna be sent back. Uh, again, we have to ask who is Pueblos in Fronteras and why are they doing this? All right, well, we'll keep on it and we'll have you back to talk more about it. Mike Gonzalez, thank you so much. Thank you.